Hello, I'm Susan Kim. And I'm Vince Petrano. There's a new king of college football today. The Ohio State University beat Oregon 42 to 20 last night to claim the first playoff championship. Ohio State's running back racked up nearly 250 yards, scoring four touchdowns. That earned, earned him the offensive MVP award. This is the Buckeyes' fifth national title. Things got out of hand back home in Ohio, though, after the team's big win. Thousands of students forced their way into the football stadium last night and tore down a goal post. Firefighters also put out nearly 40 trash can and dumpster fires. Police used pepper spray to disperse the crowd. Governor Scott Walker will deliver his State of the State address tonight. The governor will lay out his plan for the coming year and is likely to talk about the state's $2.2 billion budget deficit. The address begins at 7 o'clock. We will have full coverage and reaction coming up tonight on Live at 10. Congressman Paul Ryan says he will not run for president next year. Ryan told NBC News that he made the decision over the holidays. He adds that his new job as chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee is going to keep him busy. Ryan was the Republican vice presidential candidate back in 2012. Three Milwaukee County supervisors want to create a task force to oversee improvements at O'Donnell Park. They want to make repairs to the park and upgrades like a seasonal beer garden. The move comes following last month's vote rejecting the sale of the park to Northwestern Mutual. The County Parks Committee will discuss the proposal later this month. The Milwaukee Bucks are enjoying a little free time in London before their global game later this week. The guys got to check out places like Buckingham Palace. They play the Knicks at 2 o'clock coming up on Thursday. A lot of selfie sticks there. <laughs> well, maybe they just wanted to take care of the picture themselves instead of asking passers-by exactly. to take a picture. And they're tall, so people yeah. have got to you know, shoot it up <laughs> and stuff. So. <laughs> Might as well just take care of it yourself. Uh, we had some lake effect snow overnight and into the early morning hours, less than a half inch across southeastern Wisconsin. Uh, but those clouds have kept us warm in some locations. You can see what it looks like this morning around Port Washington, a gradual clearing late morning into the afternoon. Temperature this morning was around 11 degrees there. However, it was below zero just about an hour and a half inland. We'll show you that here in a second. Lake effect snow out of here. No shoveling required because it was such a little bit of mount and the sunshine this afternoon will take care of that. Then the mini thaw, the mini January thaw moves in here uh, by late week. The pick right now looks to be on Friday. 13 degrees this morning in Milwaukee. Look it up north. Anywhere from 18 below to 24 below in Rhinelander. Those are actual temperatures here locally. You can see the range in temps with the cloud cover and the snow and that easterly wind off the lake, keeping the lakefront warmer. Then it got cooler as you went inland and then where it was clear, 12 below in the Dells. Once again, actual temperature. Just crazy the amount of difference in the temperature just because of the cloud cover. A high today of 18 with afternoon sunshine, a light southeasterly wind. That will keep the wind chill above zero for the first time uh, in a couple of days. Five tonight with a light breeze, though. Wind chills will still go anywhere from zero to about eight below. And then for tomorrow afternoon, plenty of sunshine, light southwest wind, and a high of 21 degrees. We're going to enjoy the sunshine and the light breeze thanks to part the high pressure parked right over us. And it's going to gradually shift off to the east uh, during the day on Wednesday, allowing a warm front in the next storm system to move in here uh, by the end of the week. That is your warm up, your January thaw, and it will bring in temperatures close to 30 for Thursday, mid 30s for Friday, and near 40 degrees for Saturday before that weak cold front pushes on through. If you're heading off to the west, uh, Seattle looks to be rainy this weekend, especially on Saturday, 51 degrees. At least it's going to be mild with a light westerly wind. Some scattered light rain showers or drizzle throughout the game on Sunday. Highs near 50 once again, but it will be damp and it looks to be a little on the windy side as well. Back here at home for today, a high of 18, mostly sunny, wind chills near 10 degrees with that easterly wind between 5 and 10 miles per hour. For tonight, we'll keep the light wind, but as temperatures drop back into the single digits, 5 here locally and even a little bit below zero inland, wind chills could drop down to 5 to 10 below despite the light wind and it will be mostly clear. So your seven day forecast shaping up like this, 18 today, 5 tonight, 21 on Wednesday. Uh, Thursday is going to be 30 degrees. And then as we get into Friday for the start of the Jamboree, 34 degrees outside. The weekend, almost 40. And I think there will be a 40 somewhere in southeastern Wisconsin on Saturday. A little cooler behind that cold front on Sunday with a temperature of 32. Those are nice cold fronts. All right. down to the freezing. Well, you know, the folks at the Waukesha Jamboree have had such rough weather oh, in recent years, haven't they? They so have, so this would be nice. Bo on both sides yeah. of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Is it too warm? Too warm, too, too cold. <laughs> this would be just right. All right, great. Thanks so much, <laughs> Brian. And thanks so much for joining us for this Today's TMJ4 Update.